In this module, we will be covering concepts relating to the cash book. To take you through what we learned in our previous series, refresh. One of the main rules of accounting is debit what comes in and credit what goes out. This stands to be the most relevant one while we prepare a cash book. We need to break down each transaction to understand whether cash is coming in or going out. In a transaction where cash comes in, we debit cash and when cash goes out, we credit it. This stands to be the most relevant when trying to understand how a cash book works. Now to take you through a few examples, we have Peter here who has incurred some income and expense and wondering how he would maintain his cash book. Peter had an opening cash balance of rupees 2000. This would appear on the debit side of the cash book. Next, Peter made a cash sale of rupees 500. Now in a cash sales, cash come in. Rule 1, debit what comes in. Hence, we know that cash has to be debited. Now, where does the credit go? Rule 3, credit all incomes and gain. Peter made a sale, so he has received an income. Hence, we credit sales. The entry would now read as cash account debit 500 to sales account credit 500. Now, cash book ledger would look something like this. With this, let's work out our next example. Peter makes some purchases amounting to rupees 200. Now, cash purchases is equal to cash goes out. Rule 1, credit what goes out. Hence, we know cash has to be credited. Now, where does the debit go? Rule 3, debit all expenses and losses. Hence, the entry will now read as purchases account debit to cash account credit rupees 200. Now, cash book ledger would look something like this. Peter now pays for the rent expenses of his shop. So rent expense, cash goes out. So what do we do when cash goes out? So rule 1 again, credit what goes out. So cash account is credited. So if something is credited, something has to be debited. Rule 3, debit all expenses. So the rent account will be debited. The entry would read as rent account debit 700 to cash account credit 700. So this will appear in the cash book ledger as follows. Next, Peter receives money from his mom amounting to rupees 800. So the entry would read as cash account debit to mom account credit rupees 800. To mom account goes on the debit side of cash book. The final task is to balance the cash book. The so debit side totals to rupees 3300. So carry the same total to the credit side as rupees 3300. To arrive at the balancing figure, we need to calculate 3300 minus 700 plus 200 which is equal to 2400. Now rupees 2400 which is nothing but the closing balance of cash which Peter has. An understanding of these examples is critical in understanding how to prepare a cash book.